This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. And the next is classification based on the chemical structure. Okay, how this is classified based on the chemical structure? Hmm. See classification based on the chemical characteristics or chemical structure which is divided into element compound and mixture okay so what do you mean by element compound and mixture again mixture is divided into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture okay hmm. so uh, first to note down the definition for element okay uh, element uh, uh, according to the scientist Lavoisier gave the explanation for the element according to him element consists of only one type of atoms okay elements consist of only only one one type of atoms element consists of only one type of atoms in different elements atoms are different okay so the atoms of one element are different from the atoms of the other element thus every element has its own independent property which is not the same in the other element okay so so first uh, here i will explain the element okay which is having only one type of atoms and in different elements atoms are different just consider the example for this consider the carbon it has it is an element and sodium which is an element okay carbon having its own atoms okay and uh, sodium which is having its own atoms and uh, which uh, shows its own properties correct which shows its own properties and uh, carbon elements are differ from the uh, sodium element correct so this is the uh, by just taking the example of carbon and sodium you can explain uh, what is uh, element only one it is made up of only one type of atoms correct carbon it is an element and sodium which is also element carbon is made up of its own elements and sodium which is made up of uh, its own element this is a only one type of atoms so again and the next point is the atoms of the one elements are different from the atoms of the other element so they are having only one type of atoms and sodium having its only one type of atoms these are the they are having its own properties okay so example for this is carbon and sodium or it may be oxygen these are the elements just give the example for element whatever element you want to give example just give the example so this is about the element okay then the next uh, point is uh, you know the next point is compound so just uh, it is uh, not that much uh, um, uh, not that much difficult <coughs> so the second one is compound okay mm -hmm. Second one is compound. When two or more elements combine chemically with one another, a compound is formed. Two or more elements. Two or more elements combine chemically with one another so compound is formed okay huh. consider two or more elements okay i will consider the element of uh, hydrogen and oxygen both are in gaseous state okay here hydrogen showing its gaseous properties and oxygen showing it showing its gaseous property here two elements are hydrogen and oxygen okay so which gives both are combining and gives h2o so this is liquid means this is called water correct h2o 
water compound water is called a compound because which is made up of two elements so this is means uh, uh, so uh, this is the example for a liquid okay uh, when two or more elements combine with each other and uh, this form uh, compound is formed here uh, as shown in that for example hydrogen and oxygen are ga gases okay water formed by their combination is a liquid here hydrogen burns explosively in air and oxygen is a supporter of combustion okay hydrogen burns explosively in air and oxygen is a combustion oxygen is a supporter for combustion um, so but water is used for a extring fire extinguisher does a hydrogen and oxygen change their properties in water okay and uh, for this is uh, means a uh, hydrogen and oxygen uh, hydro which water change its properties when compound is formed here water uh, it is formed now uh, so th when the water is formed the element present in them below uh, they show some new properties by losing their own individual properties yes, hydrogen is having a gaseous property after um, uh, forming into a liquid form it will showing that it liquid property it's losing its own properties and showing its new properties so this is about compound okay and the next is mixture third one is mixture <clears throat> okay uh, and the next topic next uh, in that uh, mixture mixture is a material consisting of two or more kinds of matter which consisting of two or more kinds of matter okay mixture which consisting of two or more kinds of matter each remaining its uh, retaining its own property own characteristics properties mixture can be separated by the physical methods okay mixture can be separated by physical methods mixture can be separated by physical method so this is the mixture again mixture is divided like the uh, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture correct mixture is divided into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture which is divided into homogeneous mixture and hetero Homogeneous mixture one the homogeneous and second one is heterogeneous okay so just to note down the definition for homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture homogeneous in the homogeneous mixture uh, the compounds okay whatever the components are present in homogeneous mixture they are completely mixed with each other and its composition is uniform throughout okay they are completely mixed with each other they completely mix with each other and the composition is uniform uniform and the composition is uniform they completely mix with each other and the composition is uniform for this example is sugar solution sugar solution is an example for this okay this is the sugar solution example means sugar when it is dissolved in water which form which gives a sugar solution means by a, a, now you observe by comparing this example it will mix completely with each other sugar and water sugar is fully dissolved in water this is first point and the uniform they are uniform completely they are uniform okay composition is uniform throughout means sugar is uh, uniform throughout the solution okay this is about the homogeneous mixture coming to the heterogeneous mixture 
the composition is not uniform and uh, throughout the, and sometimes the different components can be observed okay the composition whatever the composition is there which is not uniform and uh, the components are not same the components are different components can be observed different components can be observed okay example for this homo heterogeneous mixture is example for the heterogeneous mixture okay uh, the components of uh, both the type so consider sodium chloride and the iron okay they makes a heterogeneous mixture how the makes a heterogeneous mixture sodium chloride and the iron sodium chlor right and iron so iron which is in solid form and uh, where the sodium chloride so uh, it which uh, can how it is a solid state but as different entities in mixture and separate from the borderline surface it can be separated the components of both types of mixture can be separated by using the physical method so how we can separate this this is the example for heterogeneous mixture as i explained that is it can be separated by the physical methods how it is separated by physical methods sodium chloride and this is the iron so uh, for example to separate the mixture of salt sodium chloride iron uh, and iron okay it is dissolved in water and uh, okay uh, when uh, both sodium chloride and water water uh, what, sodium chloride and iron both are dissolved in water sodium chloride which forms a solution sodium chloride solution where iron is in a solid uh, state uh, that's why this can be separated by using uh, what filtration method okay uh, when uh, this is uh, filtered iron is filtered uh, so that uh, this can be separated sodium chloride solution can be separated only which is uh, left with the sodium chloride solution so this is in solid form then that it can be separated from this this is a sodium chloride particle so next uh, again uh, you just wanted to uh, um, separate the sodium chloride from the uh, water means uh, by the evaporation method you can uh, this both can be separated by the filtration method okay filtration filtration method you can separate when only if you want to separate sodium chloride from the water means you just uh, uh, follow the evaporation method evaporation method so this is about the mixture mixture two or more kinds of matter okay so which is separate this can be separated by the physical methods so, uh, mixture with, uh, it can be divided into homogeneous mixture see here which can be divided into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture they completely mix with each other and they are uniform throughout the solution example for this is sugar solution like a heterogeneous mixture it is not uniform and dif different components can be observed okay like this different components can be observed and uh, heterogeneous mixture uh, it is the example sodium chloride and uh, iron when both are mixed both are and also i said that physical methods uh, from the physical methods we can separate this how it is separated so uh, iron can be separated by the filtration method okay and uh, the uh, sodium chloride uh, it can be separated by the uh, by its solution this is by the evaporation method you can separate so this is about the mixture and the next concept is okay next topic is physical quantities the value of the physical quantity is always equal to a definite numeric value and definite unit okay physical quantity which is always equal to the definite numerical value and definite unit so i will write here which is having definite numerical value definite numerical value and definite mm, numerical unit definite numerical value and definite unit okay 
this is value so where it is uh, which is having a definite numerical value and definite unit so it is necessary to describe the physical quantity with the least possible units for example consider the mass of the substance okay for example just consider that the mass of the substance is of 5 kg okay substance is of 5 kg if you are i uh, 5 kg here just writing only the 5 it does not carry any meaning okay so in order to express the measured so here carry no meaning but adding the term kg after this 5 so you will get this it indicates that it is a mass okay so <clears throat> The least value of quantities of units selected are known as fundamental units or basic units. So, so this is called fundamental unit or basic units. Okay. And uh, in that uh, other units of measurements which can be derived from the fundamental units are known as derived units. So, okay. So for example, just consider. Uh, okay. Example for fundamental unit, basic units and derived unit. Okay. Mass of piece of iron is of 5 kg. Okay. Piece of iron is of 5 kg. Consider. In that, <coughs> here, uh, kg is a basic unit. Okay. This is the kg, correct? This is kg is a basic unit. 